Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 17th of November, 2023. The Indian equity benchmark snapped a two day winning streak to close lower on November 17 as financials came under pressure, following the Reserve Bank of India's move to tighten norms for personal loans and credit cards. At close, the Sensex was down 187.75 points, or 0.28% at 65,794.73, and the Nifty was down 33.40 points, or 0.17%, at 19,731.80. Biggest gainers on the Nifty were SBI Life Insurance, HDFC Life, Apollo Hospitals, Lesson and Tubro and Hero Motocorp, while losers were SBI, Axis Bank, ONGC, BPCL and Bajaj Finance. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of Tata Investment Corporation Limited surged nearly 20% on November 17 on account of value unlocking. Opportunity with Tata Technologies IPO, which opens for subscription on November 22. Tata Tech is a subsidiary of Tata Motors in which Tata Investment is a promoter group entity. Tata Investment Corporation Limited is a non-banking financial company and is involved in long-term investments such as equity and equity-related securities. Other than Tata Motors, the company owned stakes in at least six other listed Tata Group firms, Tata Chemicals, Tata Consumer Products Limited, Trent, Tata Elksi, Tata Steel and TCS. L&T Finance Holdings fell more than 5% on November 17 after the Reserve Bank of India increased risk weight on consumer credit exposure of commercial banks and non-banking financial companies by 25 percentage points, to check the proliferation of unsecured loans. According to Morgan Stanley, the RBI move could push up borrowing and lending rates. For NBFCs like LTFH, the impact of raised risk weights is on both sides of the balance sheet, Nomura said. AGS Transact Technologies share price up 18% on November 17 after the company won an order worth 1,100 rupees crore. The company announced the order win of 1,100 rupees crore over seven years for deploying two 500 plus ATMS under the outsourced managed services portfolio from the State Bank of India. The company will deploy these ATMS on a transaction fee basis under the total outsourcing model. The company will begin the deployment of these new ATMS in the next calendar year. As of September 30, 2023, the company has installed, managed, or maintained 77,658 ATMS CRMs across 2,200 cities and towns in India. IDBI Bank Limited slumped for 0.5% on November 17 after the DPAM secretary said that stake sale may not be completed this year as some of the Reserve Bank of India's mandatory approvals were pending. While the Department of Investment and Public Asset Management said the transaction was on course, aspects such as RBI's fit and proper criteria still need to be complied with. SBI cards and payment services crashed 5% on November 17 after the Reserve Bank of India tightened the norms for personal loans and credit cards. A day earlier, the central bank increased the risk weight on consumer loans as the unbridled growth of these unsecured loans has been causing a concern. The move, in the form of higher capital requirements, could raise lending rates for unsecured customer loans. RBL Bank and SBI card would bear the heaviest impact on the high credit care share, as the move takes away the company's growth multiple, Navama Institutional Equity said. Tata Investment Corporation Limited in daily time frame is trading around 3,908.90 points, with a change of 20% and is trading with a net volume of around 2.48 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 3,360.85 which is a good indication for the stock, while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 80.79. HB Stock Holdings Limited in daily time frame is trading around 81.61 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 210.46 1,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 69.35, which is a good indication for the stock.
while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 79.68. GE Power India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 211.85 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 9.196 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 181.45 which is a good indication for the stock. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 75.42. For the stock recommendation we have, Persistent Systems looks good and can be bought at 6,388 rupees keeping a stop loss of 6260 rupees and a target of 6540 rupees you can reach us via phone whatsapp or email using the information listed on the screen thank you for joining us today if you found this video informative please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights and as always if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos Leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing.